Yo guys, how y'all doing today? I'm Minute 75 and back for another match day vlog, guys. Uh, I know as you can see, this is not my normal house. Uh, I'm still uh, in Belfast just now, but I'm coming home in the next wee while. Uh, departing the um, hotel at 12, straight to the airport for there, so I will be home for the Hibs and Aberdeen game tonight, which I'm fucking delighted about, because let's be honest, I like watching football. Just saying, you know? But anyway... Um, yeah, been a bit of a, a weird couple of weeks for Hibs. Um, obviously, we had the, the draw against Hearts in the Derby, which, you know, in hindsight, probably not a bad result. But then we follow it up with a really, really poor home game against uh, St. Johnston. And that, to me, was just... That, to me, is just not good enough. You know, we should be beating teams like St. Johnston, especially at home. You know, that was our first defeat at Easter Road for a, a calendar year. And that, to me, just, you know, it's, it's not good enough. You know, the fixtures have a lot up because, obviously, you know, we go into the game tonight against Aberdeen. Aberdeen, I think, are starting to find their form as well. You know, we played them at Easter Road um, a couple of weeks ago or a couple of months ago. We drew 1-1 with them. We played them again in the League Cup. And everybody knows my feelings on that game, so I'm not going to go into it too much. Um, so, tonight is really, really, I think it's going to be a really different kind of game um, I do think we're good enough to win it I think now that Camberry is going to be back in the starting lineup, and we've already been kind of told that um, that uh, Jamie McLaren is going to be back in the team as well so hopefully they two can reignite the partnership that was so successful at the tail end of last season so hopefully you know we can we're going to see a wee bit more of that um, <sighs> In terms of the rest of the team, I'm really concerned about the defence just now. It seems to be that we're really missing Paul Hanlon and they are Paul Hanlon as well as uh, David Gray as well. Don't get me wrong, Lou Stevenson is always a constant performer. Effie Ambrose is having a good spell of form just now. Danny McGregor was really good uh, the the draw against Hearts. I don't know if he played against St Johnston. I'd need to double check that. But, I mean, obviously, I don't know. I, I just... The team just seems to be hitting, I, I didn't want to say a bad spell of form just now because I really didn't want to say it like I'm being so pessimistic, which I think I am being, to be wholeheartedly honest. Um, I think it's going to be a really, really tight game of football tonight. Aberdeen are always tight, we know that. They do play anti-football sometimes, we know that. Um, can we break them down? We're just going to have to wait and see, but... Predictions at this point, If you offer, I'm not going to lie, if you offered me a 1-0-1 for Hibs right now, I'd bite your hand off for it, I really would, um, it's just, yeah, too tight, too tight for me to call just now, so, yeah, that's my thoughts on the game, obviously, as, you, as I said, I'm coming home today, I'll uh, keep you updated on that, and then obviously I'll give you my full time thoughts when the game is over tonight, but that being said guys, enjoy the rest of your Friday, enjoy the rest of your day, if you're working, hard lines. But as I say, just enjoy it and I will speak to you all in a bit. Cheerio, bye. Yo guys, 
Well, there's not really a lot I can say about last night's game, guys. Unfortunately, pff, it just didn't seem to work for Hibs last night. Be that the conditions, be that the tactics, be that whatever. Whatever we had going on last night just didn't, it didn't work for us. Really, really disappointing. Um, the performance was just absolutely terrible, to be honest. We were just, we were nowhere near good enough. And, I mean, last night has been, I think the last couple of weeks has been kind of following a, a very similar kind of trait, really. I know we were poor against St Johnston, for what I've heard, obviously. As you know, I wasn't at that game because I was away on the honeymoon. Um, but then, obviously, the game against Hearts, you know, there's been a few games this season where we just didn't seem to know kind of what we're doing. And I think that we're put, in my opinion now, we're putting too much an emphasis on Martin Boyle. You know, last night he was terrible. The f and listen, I'm, I'm a big supporter of Martin Boyle. I really appreciate what he tries to do. I think he's one of the, the, the most improved players at Hibs for the last couple of years. He's turned into a really big player for us, but I think we're putting too much emphasis on him. That boy, Max Lowe, had him in his back pocket the whole night last night. McLaren was now up to speed. Cam Berry, for some reason, just didn't seem to work. Uh, yeah, there was flashes, a really good hold-up play, but it just didn't seem to work. Um, Slivka had a bit of a poor night last night. To be honest, last night was the kind of game where one mistake for either team, and it was going to be cut and, Um Unfortunately, we are the team that, that, that gave that mistake away, and unfortunately, you know, we ended up paying the price for it. Aberdeen done what Aberdeen done best, and they just sat back. You know, they just sat back. They weren't there really. Once they got their noses in front, they weren't interested in trying to go any further. They just were quite happy to sit, sit in front and just say, well, can come and break us down sort of thing. And that was, I mean, to me, that's, that's born. Do you know what I mean? I'd rather, I'd rather lose a game of football playing entertaining, entertaining football than to sit back and no do anything and just be boring. Yeah, I mean, that might, maybe people might be pissed off with, with me saying that, but it's true. I'd rather lose a game of football actually trying to win it, if you know what I mean. Like, if Hibs go out and try and play decent attacking football and they end up getting sucker punched, well, okay, you, you can walk away from that and go, okay, what? it's not great, but, you know, we'll learn. This is the thing, though. We just didn't seem to be learning for these silly, silly errors that just seem to be plaguing us. Um, to be seventh in the league at this point is really, really poor. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to bullshit you all. I think it's so poor for, for the, the standards that we set ourselves last season, the standards that Hibs have set ourselves in the past couple of seasons. Yes, I know before people say it, I know we were, we were in the championship for three years as well, but obviously, you know, Winning the Scottish Cup in that time as well, you know, you had to have high standards there to win the Scottish Cup. We did have the high standards. I still feel that we've got the high standards, but I, the last, as I say, the last couple of the last couple of games have just been absolutely shocking for Hibs. Um, it's turned into hoofball. Both teams are playing hoofball last night. Uh, they are that Scott McKenna and uh, is it Michael Devlin? I might be wrong on that. But the, the two Aberdeen centre-halves last night probably had the easiest night's work that they're probably going to have all season. Do you know what I mean? Uh, the goalkeeper didn't have to make a save. Bogdan didn't have to make a save. That kind of tells you the game, what kind of game of football it was. And, it, yeah, just it's just so, so, so disappointing. But, you know, that's Hibs now. No wins in four. Again, we don't seem to know... Um, we don't seem to know our, our, our best starting eleven. I think we're still a bit thin in the striking department. We need... I, I didn't want to say this because I didn't want to come across as... I'm not trying to be funny, but... The majority of Hibs fans just now, everybody goes, we need Scott Allen, we need Scott Allen, we need Scott Allen. Scott Allen today, what? Scott Allen last season in that, that midfield probably had his job made a lot easier for him because he had John McGinn and Dylan McGeoch in there. That... Hibs midfield doesn't exist anymore. Is it as good as the last season? No, of course it's not. But we were always going to struggle after losing Nato. So, Scott Allen in that midfield now, has he got to do any better? I didn't think he has. But we need a, we need 
a player similar in that kind of mould where we need a wee bit of creativity in the middle of the park. If we have a wee bit of creativity and another striker in January, then who knows. But anyway, I could go on ranting and raving until, till, you know, this time in the morning if I really wanted to about some things that Hibs are doing just now and, you know, I'm not happy with but I'm, I'm going to try and end the video on a positive. Yes, in a lot of ways, it was a good kind of defensive performance last night. Ryan Porteous had a no bad game, bar his one mistake. Darren McGregor had a no bad game after a shaky start. I can't say anything. I FA I felt played well. Lewis played well, but it was a it was a game that was screaming out for a bit of magic. And unfortunately for Hibs, Gary McKay Stephen produced. We didn't. They did. Bottom line. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave the video there. I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. It really helps me out. Um, please subscribe to the channel, Money Minute 75. Click the bell icon beside the subscribe button. That will let you know when I upload. Also, another announcement. I have been given a board game by the awesome guys at Taxi Board Game. They've given me a, a copy of their Hibs version of the game. I'm going to try and get a video sorted out um, playing the game and, and seeing what we think yet. Also, I'm going to start doing something called Taxi Trivia on the channel, which will basically, I'm going to take a question from the game, I'll ask it at the start of the video, and I'll give the, the answer at the end of the video as well. Um, so hopefully that will be quite fun. Um, if you haven't done it already, please check these guys out on Twitter. It's at Taxi Board Game. They've got a Facebook page as well with the same name, just Taxi Board Game. So give the guys a wee shout out as well. Uh, but again, you know, enjoy the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and I'll see you next week after the international break. Okay, guys. Goodbye.